Number 69, using the data in Appendix G, calculate the standard enthalpy change for each of the following reactions, and then we have this example right here. So we have two carbon solid plus two H2 gas plus O2 gas, which will yield CH3CO2H, and that's a liquid. Um, so what I did here was I basically went into Appendix G and I got the delta H values for you. They're asking for the standard enthalpy change. Enthalpy is delta H, okay? So if you look on these appendices, you'll see probably a three-tiered chart. You'll see delta H's, delta G's, and S values. We only care about the H's because they just want enthalpy. So now, how do I find the enthalpy change of the reaction? It's an easy formula. It's this one. Delta H for the whole reaction, Rxn, I just abbreviated as a reaction, is just the sum of all the products minus the sum of all the reactants. So I just like to simplify it by saying products minus reactants. So technically, we have to get one number for the product for the reactant side and one number for the product side. Now I already see that they gave us coefficients in my equation, so I'm going to assume that it's balanced, but always just double check to see if you're working with the balanced equation or not. You always have to balance the equation. Now what we're going to do is we have to multiply each number by how many is stated in the equation. Now, some of this is going to be a little bit tedious, but I kind of want to show you the process just so that you're equipped with the information so that you could do harder problems. So, for example, there were two carbons, so I just need to multiply the zero by two. Now, I just want to state one thing here. In the appendix, uh, there's two carbons that are solid. There is graphite and there is diamond. However, graphite is the uh, natural form of carbon, not diamond, right? So I chose the carbon graphite solid here as the zero number. So they didn't... They didn't specify whether we were using graphite or solid, so I'm just going to assume that it's graphite, but I'm pretty sure that's what this question wanted. They didn't want you to start off with diamond to make this compound. Okay, so let's keep moving on. So I see that I have a 2 for the hydrogen, so I'm going to multiply that by 2. And then there was only one oxygen, so I just multiply it by 1. And the same thing goes for this one. There was one CH3CO2H, so I just multiply it by 1 here. And now I need to get one number for the blue and one number for the red, but I only have one compound in my product, so my product would just be the negative 484.2, because one times that number would be the same. Technically, you would add all these up, right? But since it's all zero, this is just going to be zero. And now we're ready to do our formula. The delta H for the whole reaction would be the products negative 484.2 minus the sum of the reactants, which was zero. So this one was pretty easy. Delta X, delta X, delta H for the whole reaction would just be negative 484.2. And just know that the units for delta H is always kilojoules per mole. So KJ per mole. And there you go. So in order for this to happen, you're going to release, because it's a negative, 484.2 kilojoules per mole of substance. And that's it. Pretty exothermic to me. All right? Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I will see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.